Hi, welcome to my 3D rectangle graphical drawing. So let me just show you how it works. Can you see that guys? That is beautiful. So if you look right up there, you will see my 3D drawings right there. And uh, I've actually used loop to change the colors. See that? So ported uh, the active window tool to graphic as well and also imported the swing so what I would do is uh, I'll take you to a new development environment where I will actually put together this tutorial again just for you guys just in case if you want to develop something very similar so let's go into Java development environment now okay to start with I will start with the normal process of uh, creating a new project I'll just make sure Java and Java application is selected click on next and right here just give it a name I'll call it graphic graphic to because I have one already so I won't check my main click on OK so this is my graphic tool so since graphic tool is ready right click on graphic tool go to new right there let's enter graphic tool 2 and uh, I will just call this the class name let me change the class name to graphics and the package name I'll call that graphic underscore 3d because it's going to be a 3d program so we just click on the finish so what I do next is let me select you can either use a radio button or just a button uh, maybe I just select a radio button drop it somewhere here and uh, my thumb I would prefer the full length so let me change the preference size that is it right there I will change that to 1020 1000 the width is 1020 by I'll make that 800 and just click on OK so that is my width now ready now my radio button right here I will change the text property to I graphics. Okay, you can see the I I graphics, and just change the variable, the variable name to R B I graphics or R B graphics. That's fine. So that is ready now. I will then right click on it event action action perform to start code the next step is to come to my package graphic 3d right there I will import the following so import the following the first one will be color I will also import I think I might want to use my font import font import the graphics as well which is uh, graphics 2d and the next one is let me import the geometry there okay now I have all my so let me just correct that I think that's supposed there's supposed to be a wide card card there I have my wide card in place so the next thing is go straight into my radio button right here can you guys see that okay now let me define my methods so there graphic graphic has 2d so my variable is G and I just say graphic graphic 2d close that and get graphic okay now my method is ready 
let's just correct that okay the next thing is we use a loop I intend to use this very loop for my color I'll be using this loop for my color that's right for maybe Q equals 0 Q less than and equals to 10 and then uh, make Q let's add on to Q Q plus plus and come right here okay all I'm doing right now is just to get my color ready so I'm now setting my color because I would like to use a random color so what I've just done is a uh, new color int then use the max function dot random let's look for now there there we go and then multiply that by 256 colors yeah that's correct right so just repeat exactly the same code there so copy it and just paste it right there and repeat the same thing again there and now let's close up close off the brackets there so I now have my colors in place so what we happen is this line of code we actually randomize the colors that I will use and then next thing is let me start working on my on my drawings as draw which is right there can you guys see that draw 3d rectangle okay double click on that there it's right there so the next thing is define my coordinate as 10 another 10 make the next 100 and followed by another 100 okay and I will now use the uh, boolean make that false so the boolean right here is false so the next thing is also just to declare another one so the space between them is going to be 120 each uh, yeah that's right 120 so let's see uh, draw there we go 130 comma that 10 comma 100 comma another 100 and uh, that should be false and delete whatever is left over okay that's fine so with what I've done so far let me just run that so that you guys see what we've done so far as the empty page you can see this that's just the rectangle just two rectangle draw so what I'll do on the second layer is to actually draw two other rectangles that I will fill up these ones are not filled so I'll close that and now just copy these two lines of code Uh, before that, let me name that as my rule one. So on rule two, we want to fill up the rectangles. As for rule two, we will be filling that up. Okay, but I think I should copy this as well because I need two separate calls. Copy. Is this right here and just come back here and change this to fill and repeat the same thing for this very one now run the code just run the program so I've run the program now click on that you get one rule number one rule number two if I click again you see the color change the color changes so what I will do now is just populate the rest of the page and I will come back to you guys as soon as I finish populating that so uh, maybe you might as well just watch what I'm doing right now just copy and paste that's all I'll be doing copy paste paste and this will be 250 
this is 370 this is 490 and here I have 610 and uh, I need three more let's go get three more one two three okay and this is a uh, 730 followed by 850 and 970 I will repeat exactly the same thing that I've done to the to rule number one for rule number two rule number two just copy all of these if you notice the second uh, coordinate here is 120 let me just copy and this just change the figures with 250 and here 370 and there I finished the second part of the code so I will now run this very one as well let's click on run as the frame right there all I need to do now is click on my radio button look at that guys first row second row and the colors changing randomly so what I'll do now I will actually speed it up maybe add row 3 and 4 then come back to you guys well like I said earlier on I was going to add row 3 that's row 3 right there and also row 4 I use the opportunity to add the row 5 just to speed things up I guess you guys can see you guys can see that so I will now run the program before adding my row 6 and now the program now the program is ready to be executed click on that can you guys see that I have row 1 two three four five see the colors changing that's beautiful so I need one more roll just to cover the bottom layer so let's just copy and paste and I'll get back to you now I have my roll six so I'm also running the program right there and here the program is ready so let's click on the now you see that guys and that is how you develop a 3d rectangle using those set of codes as you guys see earlier on I will copy this very code save it in my on my share drive if you have any use for it just send me an email and I'll forward it to you and do please subscribe you all have a nice day now Bye.